Well, Coach, uh, congratulations uh, getting here. Uh, you got a great one-two punch, great athletes all around, but but a great one-two punch at the point guard with Phillips and then Sharp uh, down low. Those two have been sensational for you all year. Yes, they have. Um, they're, they're really good leaders. They're very unselfish. And um, sometimes they're a little uh, too unselfish and unselfish to a fault. But um, you know, we've gotten great contributions all year from uh, you know, around the board. After uh, getting so close last year, this was this to, to kind of break through and get to this game, and of course, when it's the goal. But was that one of the goals too to, to get back to the regional final and break through? Uh, the goal was to finish. Yeah, yeah that's been simply been it all year. Finish it. Uh, you guys played a dynamite schedule, uh, and, and that I'm sure it was in preparation for the type of year you, you hoped you would have. Could you just tell us a little bit about you know? the type of opponent you played this year? Because it seems like you guys have taken on, especially in the non-conference and in the Christmas tournament, uh, you know, great competition. Oh, yes. Uh, we, you know, early December we went uh, down uh, to the Outer Banks and played in the uh, Coaches versus Council event, which was a great event. You know, we played a very good Woodside team. Then, you know, of course, we went down to the uh, John Wall Invitational, which was just an atmosphere like I've never, you know, seen before, you know, just three nights of just top flight competition. Um, you know, you get to the championship game and you look and you play at Rainy High School with two McDonald's All-Americans on them and, you know, in a game that we, we played very well and it felt like we should have won. But, you know, all of that was for preparation for Saturday. And uh, you, you beat a very good Wakefield team in their gym, mm -hmm. Millbrook on a, on a neutral floor. Now you got West Charlotte, who's kind of on a roll right now. Uh, tell us a little bit about, I guess, your preparation for West Charlotte, but some of the things you guys will work on this week. Uh, we, you know, we, our main goal, and you know, we'll talk to the kids this afternoon, is about you know, we got to get in the gym and we got to focus for 90 minutes every day. You know, it's a lot of hoopla going around the school, and you can take your mind every here or there, but we got to remember what the task at hand is, and that's to win a state championship. And um, and we'll go about it. You know, West Charlotte's one of the hottest teams in the state. You know, with a big time player in Patrick Williams, and so you know, we'll we'll, we'll do some things you know to get in, get ready for them. And uh, playing at Reynolds, it's noon game. They're expecting. You know, they might have to turn some folks away from this game, but just playing in that venue, it's going to be probably a tight venue, a loud venue, and I know you're probably excited about that. Oh, yes. I tell, uh, I tell the kids all the time, you know, from a kid's standpoint, they want to play in the Smith Center, you know, big, you know, legendary arena, but the atmosphere is so much better in Reynolds, you know, because we played in 2011 and it was jam-packed to capacity and everybody's right on top of you and it's just a, it's a, it's an outstanding um, atmosphere.